Welcome to Bellman Woodworking and Designs with me, Brent Bellman. And today we're gonna look at how to make one of these, a hexagonal, hexagon, honeycomb, whatever you wanna call it. It's a box with six sides that you can use as a shelf on your wall, as a stand on your table, or anything else you might wanna use it for. So let's take a look at what it takes for you to make one of these yourself. So the first step in this was to cut a board down to four inch wide strips for this. And again, this is premium pine that I bought from Lowe's and Home Depot. And so I cut it down in all those strips and then got it prepared to be able to cut the 60 degree angles on it. Um, but I'll talk real quick about that in the upcoming shot. So here's how to cut those angles. So to cut the angles for these hexagon boxes, there's really two tools I would suggest that you use one or the other. And one is this Wixie Digital Angle Gauge Finder. It's great, and I'll try to use that in a minute because it just goes right onto your blade. It's got magnets on it, hold on there, and lets you find the, the angle instantly. If you want to buy one of these, this was 30 bucks, but sometimes you can find a coupon. 30 bucks at Woodcraft. Imagine Rockler has the same price. If not one of those, I bought this at Home Depot. This cost me about, I think, 10 or 15 bucks, and it does the same thing. So it allows you to move the gauge up and down right there and it will tell you once it's on it'll actually tell you what your angle is of course you have to zero it out um, and go from there but it'll allow you to find the angle right there so let's check it out and see how it works. all right so the very first one we'll look at here is the wixie digital angle gauge finder so what's nice you just turn the thing on and again it's just got an on off button there so once it's on make sure to zero it out on your table put it on your blade and one suggestion is to make sure that it is flat. Make sure it's completely perpendicular. Don't let it be tilted this way or that way. Make sure it's completely perpendicular. And once you have it there, so my saw blade, it's almost 90 degrees. Now we're just gonna crank it over here. And what you should see is what'll be 30 degrees on your saw. If I ended that at the bottom, it should be 60 degrees up here because we're wanting the other side of the angle so there it is there's 60 degrees okay so we've got that and now i told you about this right here so here's yeah, this once tool you get it into place now just to show you one more time this one the degrees change with you there so i'll move back up to our 60 degree mark sure y'all can see that there we'll get as close as we can for now just for the sake of the video so there you go, 60.1, that's good. Once you've got that, you can put that up here to your blade and check that angle. All right, so I've already made the first cut on this one just to set the edge of my piece of wood here. But if I were to keep making these, what I would do now, and this is just a safety thing, you want a piece of wood up against your fence here, set this distance to whatever you want to be the size of your hexagon box. In this case, we've got it about five inches. Once you have that there, pull the board out, and this will keep you from getting any kind of kickback. Turn on your saw and make your cut. And actually, I saw one mistake. I'm going to flip this over the other way. We'll pull our spacer back here. Take it out. Turn on your saw. And there's your first cut for your hexagon box. So this is just, again, this is a safety thing to make sure that you're not going to be having the board buckle or twist up against you on the fence. I and mean, you'll just repeat these cuts every time I'm flipping your board over. To get it, you know, at least six pieces for one box, 12 for two, 18. Just keep multiplying by six to get what you want. But so for the remainder of this build, you can see me going through that process. First making the initial cut on the board and then using that spacer to make sure I'm being safe as I cut those 60 degree angles on the strips that I made previously. So this is something where you just cut and cut and just repeat the process to make as many of these as you want. In this case, I made eight of these total or I'm sorry, seven of these total. So just make as many as you need, six pieces a piece. So once you have that done, the next step is line up, take all your six pieces of your hexagon. And I use duct tape, you could use blue tape. Um, I really didn't have any problem with residue. I had some people mention maybe that there could be an issue with residue, but that really wasn't a problem. But just have something that will run tape all the way across all of them, but glue in between all the joints. And I just, as you can see here, rolls it up across. Um, let it dry and when you're done, well, of course, tape it up at the end, but um, you know, give it a day or so to dry, but when it's all done, you can pull the tape off and then you're ready to go to do whatever with these shelves that you want. Paint them, stain them, do whatever. I glued all mine together to make one big shape that you'll see here in the end shot. So fun project, easy build, and definitely good to do. All right, so 
this is our finished product. As you can see, for me, for my hexagon shelves, I've put these together to make one larger kind of a hexagon honeycomb shape. But what's cool about these is that these hexagon shelves can be fit together to make any design you want. You can be as abstract or as symmetrical or whatever you want to call it as you want. Uh, now something I do want to show you on the back here real quick that I did on this was I made this work to go both in a stand for the couple I'm making it for. Uh, there'll be a centerpiece at a shower they're doing. But also I added this in the back. This is a cleat and then a spacer. So this can be hung up on the wall. And then the spacer will keep it from drifting back and forth when it's on the wall. So again, with these shelves, you can do whatever you want to hang them up. Um, you can arrange them in any fashion. Make them however you want. So anyhow, I hope this inspires you for your next project. And you can see how to uh, go and make some hexagon shelves yourself. So until next time, be safe, keep learning, keep building.